Hey everyone, Brad here from surfed.com and today I'm excited to review the Shark Bands 2. Now, sharks have been something on my mind for a long time. I grew up in South Africa, I saw my first shark swim under me when I was around about seven years old. It was a Christmas day all by myself out there between the flags and this big grey shape swept underneath me and since then I've probably well, I've had a lot of shark experiences. So I was excited about shark bands. I've experimented with other shark repellent products in the past. I uh, actually brought some of those stickers into Australia, the black and white striped stickers way, way back. And I've been interested in the evolution of the electronic uh, products, the ones that emit an electronic signal. Shark bands are actually a very lo-fi product. What they actually do is they use patented magnetic technology that has been tested by marine biologists. They overwhelm the shark's electroreceptors by causing an unpleasant sensation. So the magnet inside of the shark band is strong. And what it does is, if you know much about shark biology, you'll know that there are little sensors on the nose of a shark called the ampullae of Lorenzi, highly sensitive, you know, they can detect a heartbeat of a living creature far away. And that's what helps them to zone in and grab their prey. So if you're a surfer sitting on top of the water, remember you're emitting an electric frequency. You're emitting these frequencies out into the water. And most shark attacks are what they call bump and bite. They're curiosity attacks. They come up just to see what this is. If you think of it from a shark's perspective, you know, there's a living creature up there, potentially looks like a large seagull, and they come up and have a bite. They're curious, curious creatures. I often think of sharks almost like wild dogs. They'll attack potential prey first, they'll take little bites before they actually go in for the kill. The problem is that with some sharks, for example, the great whites, their bump and bite attack will kill you because of the sheer force and strength of the creature itself. They'll throw you straight out of the water and one bite is enough to you know, maim most humans. But other sharks are more curious. If you think of your bull sharks, your tiger sharks, they'll swim around and they'll have a look and potentially come up and take a bite once they're convinced that it is a good source of food. A product like this is designed to ward off those curiosity attacks because as soon as the shark comes close enough, it comes to have a look, it's going to sense the strong electromagnetic signal and it will be repelled, it will go away. Now I have friends who have been using shark bands for three, four years and they've had no problems whatsoever. Of course you could say, well, they probably would have had no problems not wearing the shark bands, but it's like an insurance policy. Now, if you ever paddle out in places where you're by yourself, alone, river mouths, uh, and you have nerves ab about potentially being a meal for a hungry shark, perhaps a little insurance policy like a shark bands will give you peace of mind because I often think that the surfing experience can be tainted when we're worrying about potentially being attacked. I know so many times I've paddled out sitting there feeling quite spooked and not really enjoying the, the moment, enjoying being out there by myself in some remote location. Often that's pretty much when I am confronted with a big grey fin. But for the most part, it could improve our surfing experience, right? It may be a placebo, but if it helps us to relax and enjoy, why wouldn't you use it? So let's unbox this quickly. You open it up, you've got a brochure, you have the actual band. You need to trim it down to size before you wear it. It goes around your ankle. So you might want to put it on the other ankle, the one where you don't wear a leg rope. You basically just clip it on as you would a watch. Now the magnet is pretty strong, so you probably don't want to put it up against your credit cards or your mobile phone or, you know, don't leave it on top of your laptop. Even just here, if you look at this. <laughs> the Shark Bands box has got some sort of magnet inside of it. Potentially the packaging will help it not scramble other products in the store. <laughs> and it's, it's a strong magnet, right? It says don't place near children under five uh, and don't put it near you know, electronic products.
products. It probably should not be worn in conjunction with your pacemaker, defibrillator, hearing aids, or other medical devices. So if you have a hearing aid, maybe take the risk and go surfing without one. Of course, there is a disclaimer saying that no device can protect you 100% from sharks, especially if you're gonna surf somewhere like Rivermouth or places where there's no shark nets or are known to be quite sharky. Why wouldn't you add a potential life-saving repellent to your gear? It's not that heavy, it's pretty unobtrusive, and it's not really gonna affect your surfing performance unless you're Julian Wilson or Mick Fanning. Is that appropriate? <laughs> what would have happened if Mick Fanning had been wearing uh, one of these? Who knows, who knows? Great product, I'm excited by it, and I recommend it to anyone going surfing in places where you feel the nerves. The fear of sharks is actually called galeophobia, and perhaps this is the antidote. Shark bands, get onto it. <laughs>